Hello friends, this is your friend Sunil Babbar at the moment in the company of the handsome guy, Param Gupta, architect Param Gupta. So we are going to talk on various issues related to architecture. Tell me more about you, your family, your background, your education, all. Thank you sir for the opportunity to tell me about my family. First and foremost, my mother. She is the definition of grinding and hard work for me. And she is our homemaker. She is postgraduate level and into teaching. And uh, then my father, he is doctorate and in Chitgara University in the Department of Applied Sciences. He is professor. And then my younger brother, I have a younger sibling and uh, he completed his bachelor's in chemical engineering recently from June. And he went to Vadodara to join Reliance Industries. Oh. <laughs> so then coming to my me and uh, majorly my education happened in the small town of Rajpura. I in Punjab? Yeah, Rajpura. The gateway of Punjab actually. Yeah, yeah. In, in fact. <laughs> yeah. So I completed my bachelor's uh, from School of Planning and Architecture and then I completed master's from Chandigarh College of Architecture. Okay. Yeah, so here I am. What actually uh, motivated you to be an architect? Something called inorganic chemistry. In our chemistry, so we have well, look, we have to imagine the three D space as such to you know to visualize the atoms and all those things in that three D space. So I gave J. E. Main's paper to it was a spur of the moment decision, and then like I saw that I have a good perspective attitude, and then I... tell me more about your research work. I had the opportunity to do quite a lot of research work. Then the closest to me is the one I did for my master's dissertation. Mm -hmm. So what I did, uh, my topic was actually the disappearance and reappearance of radies and thalas in Chandigarh city. Oh, oh yes, interesting. interesting yeah, topic. actually.